our predictions are and everybody yeah. else's predictions, the Greencasters as well. I don't know if anyone's doing that, but definitely tweet at us if you are. Or well, maybe someone start doing that. That's a big job to, to do. But. Yeah, so it needs to be like on Wikipedia or um, Ali Bulak. But <laughs> Commentator votes. <laughs> Let's take a look at Haiva's stats here. He's almost in the 100 wins club. He's nine wins off of that, but he's 0-2 this season. Coming off of five losses. He was repping uh, STX last season. Uh, has since moved teams twice. When STX disbanded, he became part of Soul. And when that disbanded, he became part of MVP. So he's had a bit of a rough... Uh, time here transitioning into StarCraft 2 was on one of the best teams and then uh, everything fell apart, right? I mean, STX does great in Pro League last season and then they lose their sponsor as STX is like a shipbuilding company, <laughs> um, you know, pulls out. Then Soul, you know, falls apart as well. And then suddenly it's like, okay, now I'm on MVP, the team that's at the bottom of the bottom. Yeah, definitely a, a rough road and definitely can affect your motivation. And uh, I think we've seen that for sure with Hiver. Had played a, lo uh, a lot better in the past, been a much more interesting player to watch, I feel. And since kind of joining MVP, we just haven't seen much of him. Indeed, let's see if he can make anything happen here today. Going into our very first matchup here against Dollar Sign O Dollar Sign on Overgrowth. SK Telecom. Down here in the bottom left, in the teal for MVP, the Zerg player, it is Haifa. And over here to the top right in green, it's dollar sign, oh, dollar sign for Jenner Green Wings. So much money. Oh, what does that say? Oh, he's like, well, I've seen Samsung versus Prime. He's checked that off. And he wants to watch. Uh, Korea versus Aichedi. I don't know. We were bad. Algeria. I Algeria, think. yeah. Uh, and then he wants to see the last something. It was the, the one below he's that. He's doing his final class. Listen to his final class, maybe in college, and then the bottom was SAT versus KT. <laughs> nice. well, that's going to be sick. There's a, yeah, there's a soccer game at like 4 a.m. today or something, right? Yeah, yeah there's no. pretty much one all the time in the middle of the Well, like for Korea, <laughs> that is. Yeah. I remember the other day, I think I was with you, Wolf, we were passing by this, and there were people lined up to really? come to the studio to oh, watch Oh, yeah, this. way, 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 way before the match started. Wow. I think it, was, it was like 10 Was that yesterday PM? even? I think it was, yeah, like 10 p.m. Yeah, yeah. when the match started at like 3 or 4. Maybe they have some activities down here beforehand. Oh, they something. definitely do. Yeah. But it was like packed out the door, so if you want to come down here to watch soccer, I recommend coming early. That's, that's kind of cool, though. I always kind of wondered if this place would do well with, uh, with the soccer stuff they were doing. Clearly they are. Yeah. Kind of interested in saying, All in or nothing, actually. man. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently so. <laughs> I, I saw those banners up there. It's not really a banner, but it's like part of the studio now. And I was like, wow, the Prime banner just gets more and more complicated. I'm like, what the hell? Ooh, we see a very greedy build from Dollar Sign or Dollar Sign suiting his name perfectly. Going just got to get that money. Got to get the money. Nexus first, yeah. I like that a lot. All about the money. All about the money. We see a very safe build from Hive. They're going for that 15 hatchery. Nothing too crazy. Yeah. Doesn't want to get cannon rushed by. Oh, is he going to block it? No. <laughs> so close. Sorry, I had a Korean commentary moment there for no, a second. No, that was good. Got me excited. Oh. 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 The guys in the back are like eating stuff and waving, being huge trolls. Yeah. Um, it's, all, it's all good. It's all good. So, obviously, Hiver, very scared of SOS's uh, kind of cannon rush, which he has won many games for him in the past, which is a kind of a fair fair thing to be afraid of. And you can't fault him for that, you know. No, it's not at all. It's for not that. like being afraid of uh, monsters on your bed, that's pretty unreasonable. But being afraid of cannon rushes, that's totally It's actually that's not a phobia. It's a, it's a real fear. I've had nightmares from games and stuff like Have you? Yeah, yeah. me too actually. I've I've had mutilus killing me in Nightmare There's all the time. Muta, mutas are usually the worst. Yeah. Mutas sometimes burrow roaches in the beta when they were one supply. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, could, <laughs> I had many a sleepless night. The only uh, the only kind of dreams I have about games is like me playing them, to be honest. like I'll actually dream that I like played a StarCraft game. I wake up and I'm like, man, I feel like I've been practicing all this time. Like, Well, I would have these dreams where like, I because I, I used to play Terran in StarCraft 1 and then in the beta I was playing Terran as well, where like, <laughs> like, I'm, like I'm like scanning 
I have like unlimited scan energy, but I just like, cannot find the roaches. Oh, wow. I'm like, where are the roaches? And I just keep scanning. There's like a maxed out army of burrowed roaches somewhere on the map, like about to kill me. <laughs> and I'm like, where are they? Wow. <laughs> you know that scan noise? Like, -da 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 -da. Yeah. It's like, it just keeps going everywhere and I cannot find them. But anyways, enough about my old nightmares from the beta. I patched those out. Yeah, <laughs> we have a scout here. Yeah, very nice, Douglas Scout. Seeing everything, hasn't seen any tech so far yet, as no tech is online. Just the Mothership Core coming out, and obviously Warp Gate. Tries to crab those uh, those links, but they're slippery. Get out of there. Slippery. Slippery. Slippery snakes. And we see uh, Fast 3 Hatchery from Hiver, and a very late gas. So kind of playing it like it would be against like a Forge Fast Expand. But it's not. So he's got to be a little bit more careful with the timings here. Doesn't want to get caught out with any sort of gateway shenanigans. We're seeing six minute two gas, which is kind of very much like the uh, the timings you see against the Forge Fast Expand. This is pretty cool that uh, SOS plays this a little bit differently. I like it because he's so known for playing the Forge style. Yeah. But I'm sure that's exactly what Hive was prepared for now. He's just like, sup, I'm doing something completely different only against you because you don't have as much experience as me right now. Yep. Yeah. And, and the current meta. And still no tech out of SOS. He's just adding two more gateways, two gases as well, starting the plus one, making a ton of centuries back at home. Mm. Warp Gate going to finish soon, but I don't think we're going to see much aggression, if any, from here. Four gases going up for SOS. And it looks like he's going to transition. Maybe you'll see uh, third base very soon, judging by the amount of uh, gateways we have. Yeah, let's see. It's only three for now. Yeah, no probe on the map, as yeah. far as I can tell, anyways. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. So you're kind of applying pressure, like having kind of like the safety kind of numbers for four of third base, and nothing more than that. And we do see that probe out, so we could very well see him move to the third. Yeah, I think that's where that probe's headed. Um, it's no secret, of course, so the Overlord can see it. It ain't no secret. Yeah, they're moving. And that's six centuries, so yeah, a lot of defense. Yeah. Now it goes to Twilight Council. We could actually see the empty third uh, plus two timing with Blink. Now that is something we could definitely see at this point. But he is still making probes right now. Maybe not. Yeah. Got to see how, how high he goes with that probe count. It's actually, okay, I was like thinking he might move a little bit further and just do like a poke and a recall, but definitely going to move back here. Let's see how many gates he makes at the third, and let's keep a close watch on probe production, because he's still making them still. I mean, normally this goes with like 47 or so. That's actually a lot of sentries, too. That is a lot of sentries. That's nine sentries. Adds three gateways. That's three and gateways. And blink. Four oh, now on the way, yeah. and they're in the main base. He's hiding them. Yeah, Five it, now. This is definitely going to be yeah. like one of those empty third, kind of like all-ins. Yeah. Very, very strong. I think... Hive really has to keep an eye on that third base more than anything else, and has to be very careful. Maybe get the tech out that he needs. Maybe Hydra's at this point. Oh, yeah. and there's a probe there on the right side of the map. He, he does see the sentry. Sees this, yeah. He sees yeah. the sentry, so he knows aggression is coming. But he just doesn't know about the gateway fall because he might think, oh, it's just a poke with sentries. Wow. To recall. Look how many. Uh, look at the supply free for Hive right now 134. 19, 19 roaches, 20 roaches. Yeah, I like this These a lot. better be the best force fields of SOS's well, career Well, I mean, he's got right plenty of time to deal with this. He can harass these drones all he wants. He can force them off the line, and they can just recall out when the roaches finally come. So a lot of damage being done for free, essentially. Yeah, well, here they come. Drones are already heading back home. Well, Way they were for early. a second. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, the tickle laser on that egg is not going to kill it. Had just so many sentries. Good force fields here, actually. He needs to pull that one back. And yeah, I just think he just needs to go ahead and recall. Yeah, he shouldn't really waste his sentries too much. But I mean, even get like Zerglings and Roaches takeoffs, that's great. Yeah. Seemed pretty cute. I don't really, that didn't really work out for him at all. You know, I mean, he, he forced some lost mining time, but. I, I think it I think it did enough. I think it, it really forced out a lot of Roaches. It forced out something he didn't want to make by the looks of things. And we're going to see like a lot of Roaches and Zerglings, most likely into Spire, into Muta Switch. And we have a lot of Blink Stalkers, a lot of Sentries here. He's oh, going to be really he's careful. Just cut oh, his roaches wow. Pieces. Very careless by Hiver. Not really paying too much attention to what could be on the map. Yeah, and he didn't have speed yet either, so. No, he's. he's that was way too dangerous. This I mean, is very dangerous timing. If you, can't, if you can't control the Watchtower and you want to slow Roaches like that, you're asking for trouble against this kind of an army that he knew is there. Yep. 
Blink is done now. Plus two is about to finish. He's warping in at that pylon. Very, very well hidden now. Now, this is not an all-in. This is actually just an aggressive timing because he has gases up at his third now. He's, he's gone taken. up to 58 probes. Yeah, he's got a robo as well. I mean, this is actually just some pressure play here uh, against those forced roaches you were talking about, Munglade. Great force fields here, and he just continues them. There's a little bit of a gap, but I think oh, he wants yeah. to let the roaches come in so he can pick them off like this. Yep, trickling in just a few and picking them off completely for free. So, so much damage being done. This is such a hard choke, especially with that macro hatchery there. Yep, and really bad positioning for oh, the city. And oh, look at that. One force field solves the problems. And time here, warp there is great too. This is just this is way too cost efficient right now. Yeah, way have too to many more stalkers. We haven't we've seen him blink like twice now in this entire fight. Simply because of the Sim City. I was just starting to do like a Carbot video, man. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Exactly right. This is just too easy for SOS. Yeah, this is going to be game. Force Seal's going down here. Uh, again, that macro hatch placement, obviously not ideal. It's killer. It's simply a killer place to put it. Like, you cannot put it there and expect to hold that third He's got to put it further to the left, right? It might He's got to put it in his main base. Like, anywhere yeah, else it should would be, be fine. There. It should be anywhere else. Now there's just a giant glob of st playing stalkers being super efficient. More roaches are popping out, but it's just not He's enough. He's down to yeah. 67, yeah. GG. Ladies and gentlemen, this is why you don't put your macro hatchery like that into third base. You do not want to block well, off the, the pothing at all. I want to ask you, do you think he had a chance to hold that even with, uh, without that macro hatchery? It's hard there? to say because, I mean, the force fields were simply, like, perfect. Like, they, they, and he didn't even need that many. He had the units to kind of fight it before it got too big, but uh, I don't know. It's so hard to say. He could have pulled drones and got his roaches in there, and he could have maybe traded pretty effectively, but the way it was, there was no, no chance of holding it like that. The, the hatcheries were in the way. One force field blocked the entire army and yeah. made for a very easy push. Well, uh, another it, quick game here. It's been pretty one-sided today, guys. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm just going to lay the truth on the table. <laughs> Well, uh, yeah. looking at the matches on paper, like, not too surprised, to be honest. Like, it was very hard fought for Prime and for MVP. I mean, MVP only lost down one game. Still uh, two more to go at the yeah. very least. I we think they would have liked to play DRG here on this map. They needed they needed DRG to play in the first three games. Yeah. And Keen, I think. Yeah, well, I mean, Hive is not a bad choice, but... He just did not. He just did not perform in that game, and he's up against SOS. No, no shame in losing to SOS.